What's up guys, this is Legion from VG Nation. Today I'm showing you a little tutorial video on Gamebox. Gamebox is a voice communication software, kind of like uh, Mumble, TeamSpeak, or even Ventrilo in this case, but this program from all the others is completely free. That means you can have unlimited users log on to it, it has great internet speed, you don't have to worry about people lagging out or anything like that. It's also safe and secure for you in the sense that you don't have to worry about going on some random team speak and somebody seeing your home IP address. So that's the best thing about this. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how to download the client side version. To download the client side version just go down to downloads, click the operating system that you're using. I'm using Windows. So I'm going to save that. Do, 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 do. Open that up. Yes, I'm going to agree to the license agreement. I already went through all this before. And as you can see, Gamebox is now installing. Doesn't take much because it's not a big program. What else you're going to want to do on this is that when you launch it, you're going to want to create your own account. But because I already have an account created, I don't really need to worry about all this. Uh, to create an account, you simply just go up here to sign up. It'll create your account there. It's basically very simple. You just click on email, put in your email address, put in the username you want to use if it's valid or available to be used, and a password. It's not that difficult. And then basically you're just going to set it up, do everything you need to in here. Uh, basically it's going to set open up a menu like this at one point or another where you can set up your input and output, such as you, you want to be push to talk, voice activated, or so on and so forth. <clears throat> Me, I like using push to talk and I like using the left control key on my keyboard. So basically after you do that you're going to want to add a server and just show you how you add a server. You go to join your friend's server or get your own server. Basically if you get your own server this is the part where I will be using another video where you create your own server in the sense of what you want to call it and all that. But right now, because I'm just showing the client side for joining someone that's already has it, I'm just going to simply type in VG, and it'll give you me a list of all these different servers out there. But see how I just want mine. I'm just going to click on this one and connect to it. And as you can see, I come onto my own server. It has my own little banner up here in the top right corner. It's got my rules, uh, some funny stuff you guys can watch and whatnot. And also, some of my friends are online. Sup, Corey? How you doing? I, right, I'll be on shortly. So I hope, so I hope this video tutorial helps you all understand how it works, and I hope you enjoyed it.